first of all, we are just uh, capturing uh, the pictures, uh, like the grayscale and uh, color picture for the texture. So, so this is a 3D facial recognition from a, what is the stand place we are here? Bundesdruckerei. Bundes, sorry. Bundesdruckerei. Right. So. So, and what we have here now, as is, is we see, uh, that there are, uh, like the information of the deaths, everything which is, um, which has a yellow line out there, there we have, uh, wrong. So, everything which has a yellow uh, line outside, there we have like the information of the death. And then we have like to cut out everything what we don't need. Also so Hals und Schulter und so weiter, das brauchen wir halt alles nicht. So, und deswegen äh, werden wir jetzt einfach mal all das, was wir nicht brauchen, so they cut out stuff you don't need. Act, uh, exactly. Yeah? So, but this has to do a little bit by hand. So there's like the creative part in this. So now we are generating the uh, 3D model at some parameters. So is it, it going to use some, some, some uh, big CPU to do the... Well, actually we have like a dual core CPU at the moment yeah. and we need like for, for 200,000 polygons we need um, something like two minutes. But if you have like a quad core and it's optimized, then you need less. Okay. Could you use like a grid so it can go even faster? But well, then you have to optimize the software. Software. Yeah, like yeah. It has to be multi-core yeah. uh, optimized. So this, this process is only one time to get your ID into the system or is it every time you pass the border? It's not every time. No, 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 no. But then uh, if you pass the border, then you have to do... Uh, um, you don't have to generate like the, the, yeah. the grid, uh, but you have to see uh, if you do, if you need that much polygons, actually. So, jetzt haben wir das 3D-Modell, jetzt können wir uns das auch angucken. Was wir gesehen haben hier, alles was so eine rote Linie ist, das hat er sozusagen jetzt erfasst und hat daraus ein 3D-Modell gemacht. So, and now we are just looking through the uh, 3D-Model. So, and what we see here is like we have some gaps uh, the, um, caused by uh, where well, just like really dark uh, okay. hair or something like this. Is, so we have no information about we can uh, is that interpolate. Cool? You think it's cool? Yes, it's <laughs> I look old here. <laughs> you think? Not sure. So there you just generate it 3D. Oh. Yes, and then we see the, the wireframe, like as you see like all the polygons inside. Cool. And actually, if we use now the texture, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> you are. Really nice. That's pretty amazing. So it took about two minutes with this dual core. Uh, yeah. Yes, but you have to do like some things by hand, yeah. so it's not optimized like for an automatic yeah. control at the moment. Could you say one thing about who is using this, or when is it going to be used, or? Well, this is like an evaluation project at the moment, so it's not really sure when it will be used. We have not that much experience at the moment to make the product out of it. That's cool. You can use your avatar for the internet, no? Uh, can you send me? Ah, when you when you must be stick home, can you send me? Ich kann es Ihnen jetzt abspeichern. Ja. Ähm, müssen Sie mir bloß mal Ihren Namen sagen, dann würde ich es abspeichern, mhm. wenn Sie morgen vorbeikommen. Ja. 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 Number plates. Put on the car. Future passport. 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 Future passport.